This is Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 11, beginning at verse 15. Before the foolish devices of the wickedness were with being deceived, they worshiped serpents, void of reason, and vile beasts. Thou didst send a multitude of unreasonable beasts upon them for vengeance. <coughs> verse 16. That they might know that wherewithal a man sinneth by the same also shall he be punished. Verse 17, for thy almighty hand that made the world of matter without form wanted not means to send among them a multitude of bears or fierce lions. Verse 18, for unknown wild beasts full of rage, newly created, bringing out either a fiery vapor or filthy scents of scattered smoke or shooting horrible sparkles out of their eyes. Verse 19, whereof not only the harm I dispatch them at once, but also, like it, but also the terrible sight utterly destroyed them. I want to start off by giving all praises, all honor, and all glory to Kohalayim, La Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashim, Rechak, Kwadash, Barakatham. Double honors to the apostles and to my elders, the great millstone who do rule well. Peace and salutations to the Akim across the four corners of the earth, pushing the truth with faith and with sincerity, as well as risking their lives and the freedom to do so now more so than ever. Tell the one to the Akwap and the Akim out there listening and learning. Lord willingly, this is edifying. Tell the one to the Israelite foreigners got their abroad in the land of other nations appearing like the other nations, but whom subscribe to this truth. To you, I say Shalom. So this is the brother Yahweh Sop out of the GMS Cleveland Church, a fellow servant. Coming at you with a lesson through the spirit, through the power of Yahweh Shem El Shai. And um, I came across this article. I had it for maybe a couple of weeks now. Can't recall exactly. Um, and you know, I meant to go into it, didn't get a chance to. But uh, just showing you uh, how the Most High is really setting these people up for a, a, a grand judgment. You know. Um, you know, when you have the spiritual outside, you know, although it appears, you know, Esau Edom is carnally behind the scenes doing these things, which he is, but in actuality, when you understand how the Heavenly Father works, it tells you in the scriptures that the Most High is the Father of Spirits. It tells you that all things bend to his will. In the book of um, Ecclesiasticus or Sirach, chapter 18. Um, so, you know, it's ultimately, it tells you in Proverbs that the Most High orders the steps of all men. <laughs> so, you know. That being said, you know, it's ultimately the will of Yahweh Shem Yahweh everything this devil's doing. And uh, it talks about in the end of the days, uh, newly created creatures. We have a brother in the camp, the brother Ma'ak Kwadar, and he likes to go into a, a, a facility that um, Esau Edom supposedly has where he, it's called Nightmare Hall, where he does all these experiments. Now, the thing is, it's not too far-fetched. You know, Esau Edom... You gotta remember, he did experiments on Jake. You know, you know, the father of gynecology experimented on on on, 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 on Israelite women to actually, you know. So that all being said, and then this devil actually does have technology. You know, uh, I was listening to the brother, what's his name, um, Mawata Zab. Not to Zach, Mawata Zach. Uh, Mawata Zach, the head of um, Ancient of Days LA. And um, I believe, I, I hope I ain't butchering the, the elder brother's name. But um, long story short, I had the privilege of meeting that brother. I know his name means solid. Solid foundation or something along the line, solid. But nonetheless, um, he was saying how. Um, you know, with this technology, because, you know, you got to understand a lot of people that didn't took that jump shot, that's new technology. And you don't know what that actually is going to tell, what will there be repercussions behind that. You know, um, I forgot who I was listening to because I, I stay in, um, bombarded listening to videos. And I know a brother was going into how, um, no, it was the brother, elder, the elder brother, um, Amawan Gabar, and he was going into how um, the, the elder apostle of Ramlam sent him, an article and it was going into um, how cancer is cured and he said the first thing he thought was oh, I am legend so you know um, not to go off 
um, topic or digress, but again, like I said, this man has technology that the Most High, Yahweh Bashem Yahshai, has put into his spirit to have, and that's why this 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 devil is so proud. I mean, when you understand that he's, um, you know, um, cloning things and uh, manipulating genes and elements and whatnot, that's why he's so haunty and proud and puffed up. Because he's thinking that he's really doing it. That's why, um, what's that Amalekite the, um, that they talking about, the um, the homosexual, that's uh, the understudy of, of Klaus Schwab, um, Yuri something. But basically he was going into how, like, basically how Esau, Edom has had in their mind that they pretty much suppressed the Most High, Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shah. And that's the pride the Most High allowed this devil to have. Only, you know, like the elder Yahshua Wabba always goes into, you know, it's a it's a foolish, stupid plan. Nobody said this was a good plan, what Esau he was trying to do. It's not even a new, original plan. You know, when you go in through history, you know, you got to understand, Nimrod tried to have a one-world order. Uh, Antiochus Epiphanes tried to have a one-world order. So, you know, but uh, again, this technology talks about how at the end of the days it'll be terrorists. And, um, one of the terrors is this, you know, most I put in the spirit on this devil to create these new created creatures to uh, get at these individuals, these two third jakes, these heathens, you know, to bring terrors. You know, it tells you in the scriptures that the most high is the king of terrors, which I'm going to get. This is the book of Job, chapter 18. And I'm going to begin. And, um, We'll start at verse 5, Job 18 and 5. Yea, the light of the wicked shall be put out, and the spark of his fire shall not shine. The light shall be dark, and his tabernacle and his candle shall be put out with him. The steps of his strength shall be straightened, and his own counsel shall cast him down. For he is cast into a net by his own feet, and he walketh upon a snare. You know, and that makes you think of Job chapter 5 about, um, you know, um, the devices he imagined, you know, um, you know, because... You know, this this devil is creating, you know, the most I put it in this devil spirit to create the very technology that's going to destroy him ultimately. You know, everything he's setting up from this new, this NWO, all these things is going to lead to eventually him being put into captivity. His people being taken out of power and destroyed. It reads, verse 9, The gin shall take him by the heel, and the robbers shall prevail against him. The snare is laid for him in the ground, and a trap for him in the way. It tells you in the scriptures in the book of Job as well, it says that the deceived and the deceiver are both Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shaz. So although, you know, Esau Edom is, you know, um, he's a cunning hunter, he's, he catch men, two thirds of our people. At the same time, the Most High is deceiving him. It tells you that, um, you know, he's going to receive double for, the, you know, the atrocities that he's done to the nation of Israel. Terror shall make him afraid on every side and shall drive him to his feet. His strength shall be hunger bitten and destruction shall be ready at his side. It shall devour the strength of his skin. Even the firstborn of death shall devour his strength. His confidence shall be rooted out of his tabernacle and it shall bring him to the king of terrors. And who is the king of terrors? You know, um, Yahweh Bashem Yahshah. It tells you in the scriptures that the most high Yahweh Bashem Yahshah is a terrible power. So, um, I'm going to bring out a little bit of this article. This is out of Vice.com. It says, scientists use gene editing to create mutant cockroaches and breakthrough. Researchers use CRISPR on cockroaches in a first that opens the door to future gene editing research on insects. Now, you got to understand, if you believe that this is the first time they've actually utilized this technology, you are a fool. Because, you know, that's just like with uh, anything else. You know, uh, you know, that's just like with the amount of nuclear weapons that Esau Eden possesses. You really think that um, they're gonna make you aware of all the nuclear weapons that they have? I remember um, they was talking about um, Kim Jong-un, um, the leader of North Korea, and they was talking about how they knew about so many bases, but then when they come to find out, he had other bases, you know what I mean? Like this, you know, the scriptures even talk about not letting your left hand know what your right hand doing, roughly paraphrased. So. Back into the article is by uh, Becky Fear Area. For the first time, scientists have edited the genes of a cockroach using CRISPR Cas9, a technology that can target and change parts of an organism's DNA. Reports a new study. 
the breakthrough not only produced the first so-called knockout cockroaches in history, a term that refers to cockroaches with artificially enacted inactivated genes, it could also dramatically simplify gene editing in numerous other insects, opening up applications for pest control, evolutionary biology, and other etymological fields. And it just makes you wonder, because I remember doing a video, basically, uh, listening to the elder brother, um, um, Itaza Wan from Men of Valor, and he went into something called um, cockroach farms, so it made me look it up. And you know, you got different countries. I know China is known for having them, you know, because cockroaches is protein. You know, crickets are protein. Crickets are lawful, though. Cockroaches are, you know, some shit that the heathen will probably eat, you know. You know, I've, I've seen, um, well, I've never really watched them, but I've seen like short snippets of like, like parts of the commercial where Esau Edom uh, go over to these exotic lands, mainly where ham is, and eat just all kind of ridiculous shit, eating dirt. You know what I mean? Uh, you know, I've heard of, you know, Jake here eating dirt. I don't know. I've never heard in the scriptures that anybody eating dirt. So, you know what I mean? I don't know if that's, they're probably hem hemetic or what. I don't, I don't, you know what I mean? Like, I don't know. Um, verse, I mean, it's, um, chapter, uh, it's back in the, the, the um, article it says CRISPR Cas9, often referred to simply as CRISPR, is a technique of artificially introducing DNA sequences into an organism to precisely manipulate selected locations in the organism's genome. This technology has revolutionized revolutionized genetics by enabling a host of new insights into evolutionary biology and pathways to disease treatments, earning it the 2020 Nobel Prize in Chemistry. So. Um, the researchers successfully demonstrated that both cockroaches and beetle offspring contain artificially edited genes when their mothers were subjected to the injections and that the mutant cockroach offsprings also passed the artificial mutations onto the next generation after they made it. And if they can do this to, you know, different organisms, what makes you think they can't do this type of, you know, um, procedure to human beings? You know, there's many of movies where you had, um, make me think of that movie, um, Logan's Run, you know, where they want to start manipulating society, you know, in order to uh, basically be able to control it more efficiently, you know what I mean? And that's what it ultimately it is, you know, like I said, Esau Edom has the most, I mean, you know, he has the ultimate God complex. He think he the most high. And I got a scripture for that. As a spirit, because it's one forty-four. So um, this is the book of Ezekiel, chapter twenty-eight, beginning at verse uh, two. Son of man, say unto the prince of Tyrese, thus saith the Lord Yahweh. Because thine heart is lifted up, and thou hast said, I am a power. I sit in the seat of Yahweh, in the midst of the sea. Yet thou art a man, and not power, though thou set thine heart as the heart of, of God. And, um, you know, the Prince of Tyrese, you know, um, which you, um, you know, Tyrese, I believe, was a, a Hamitic nation. And, um, you know, that's, you know, that's going into the Hamites, but basically the modern day, uh, Prince of Tyrese is this Edomite, you know. Uh, verse 3, Behold, thou art wiser than Daniel. There is no secret that they can hide from thee. Being able to manipulate the, gen the genome, what, what makes you a human, you know what I mean? That's why they're talking about they got the super soldier serum and the Captain America. These things that Esau Edom comes out with is just not just imagination, you know what I mean? This man is literally trying to, um, do these things because he's a carnal man you know he's that he's trying to manipulate and get his you know basically take his blessing of the of the sword to the next level you know so he's going to try and do all everything through technology you know that's why he created or basically trying to set up a system with a metaverse and like i said when you really think about the concept of that these motherfuckers gonna think that they're gonna walk around the planet while the rest of the planet is going to be subjected to these small areas where your only escape is going into a virtual world. And they promote it like a good thing, like in the movie um, Ready Player One. Yeah. Uh, 
uh, verse 4. With thy wisdom and with thine understanding, thou hast gotten thee riches and hast gotten gold and silver to thy treasure. With the great wisdom and by thy traffic hast thou increased thy riches and thy heart is lifted up because of thy riches. And again, I was going into how prideful this devil is. You know, that devil, um, I can't think of the goddamn devil name, but uh, the Amalekite, you know, um, literally said like basically that. He, they, I mean, you know, a lot of brothers did videos on it because they was like, you know, they just coming out saying it. I mean, you know, and that's how you know we in them times. They gonna get bolder and bolder. They, he came out and said basically the Most High God could only create certain things, like he was limited, but like they surpassed the Most High. So yeah, this devil about to go down because the Most High, you know, he gonna allow them to keep on making these bold statements, you know, and puff them up like how the, he allowed Pharaoh to be puffed up. All in order to break him and bring him down low. And it talks about how the Most High is going to bring him low. I believe that's in the book of Isaiah, chapter 14. Um, is this the man that. Um, where is that? How does that go? Let's see, the verse 8 says, They shall bring thee down to the pit, and thou shalt die the death of them that are slain in the midst of the seas. But when you go into Isaiah. Chapter 14 talks about uh, he that weakened the nations. The Lord hath broken the staff of the wicked and scepter of the rulers. God pump is brought down to the grave, and the noise of thy vows, the worm is spread under thee, and the worms cover thee. Verse 12. Isaiah 14 and 12, how art thou fallen from heaven, O Lucifer? Because these elite on this side, you know, basically meaning light bearers, those that have the light, and you have um, light or or, or 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 knowledge on the left-hand side or, or knowledge of wickedness as well as knowledge of righteousness. The brothers that's in this truth, we have the knowledge of the righteousness. The, these elites, you know, they're, they're sorcerers on the left-hand side. They have, you know, ancient knowledge of, of left-hand practices that will all come to naught, you know, because when you understand it, it's the most high that's giving them them strong delusions. You know, at the end of the day, the power that they, 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 they draw from actually works for the most high, <laughs> you know what I mean? So it ain't no, you know, and, and, and I forgot where the scripture at, I believe it's in the book of Ecclesiastes, but I remember the elder apostle Ramlop going into it about how the right hand is more powerful than the left. It says, How art thou fallen from heaven, O Lucifer, son of the morning? How art thou caught down to the ground which did weaken the nations? Verse 13, For thou hast said in thy heart, I will ascend into heaven. I will exalt my throne above the stars of Yahweh. I will sit up also upon the mount of the congregation in the sides of the north. I will ascend above the heights of the clouds. I will be like the most high. And like I said again, that devil, Yuri something, but like I said, he's an understudy of um, Klaus Schwab. He said basically, you know, we, we, we like the, the new gods or something like that. They made a statement along them lines, a very proud statement. And may we get to see the fall of this devil. You know, the scriptures talk about how uh, in the book of Ecclesiasticus about how, uh, you know, uh, the, the joy of a man to see, the, you know, um, see his children raised up and, and the fall of his enemy, roughly paraphrased. Um, so, yeah. Uh, the Most High is coming with terrors, you know. Um, you know, you're seeing this approaching famine. You're seeing um, these different pestilences with this monkey pee. Yeah, you know, the, the CV surge again. And there's going to be multiple pestilences. As well as, like I said, you know, that ain't being brought out there. But, you, you know, at the same time, it's all kind of things that's happening that's not being explained. And like I said, don't be surprised if, you know, <laughs> Don't be surprised if, if you hear about, you know, as you know, the Lord, you know, because of the iniquity of this place, the Lord is going to have a, a extreme judgment for it, you know. So he's going to basically, you know, um, pull out, pull out all the, uh, pull out all the stops for it, you know what I mean? You know, a storm and tempest and, you know. You know, this family is going to be like, I was listening to one of the brothers going to it. I believe it's the brother, um, Bakora Muff. He was talking about how do you realize, I mean, that's why it's such a punishment if you was to go take that MOTB because of the fact that 
you know, you're going to have to willingly consent. And they're setting up a system where it's going to be very difficult to eat, you know. So what are you going to put your trust in? These devils? That's, uh, you know, and it's, and it's ultimately Yahweh Shem Yahshai. And that's the terror of the Lord. This is the book of Isaiah chapter 19, point is verse 16. In the day shall Egypt be like unto women, and they should be afraid and fear because of the shaking of the hand of the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shav host, which he shake up over it. And you seeing the most high Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shav beginning to shake right now. It is too many things. It's a lot of violence. I just heard today was another mass shooting, you know, and a lot of that might be staged, but nonetheless, it's real violence going on. You know, they you gotta understand that the these devils do witchcraft like the uh, elder brother uh, Mawatazak was going into you know like an inauguration you know when they go out and make these public statements you know they that's they they they, they harness an energy to push out so you know at the LA like those mass shootings might start off as you know um uh, psych ops but then they eventually they're pretty much like rituals you know then you start seeing small like this is gonna be a very very bloody summer trust and believe that you know, through the spirit, too many brothers been saying it, and I can see it. You know, you, you know, you got people like it's warm. People ain't really got no money. I remember years coming, um, growing up, and that that's when money was out there a little bit. But now, nah, you know, you got people just lurking and looking and you know scheming and shit. So yeah, I got one last scripture. The book of Jeremiah chapter 49 and the point is verse 5 behold I will bring a fear upon thee saith the Lord Yahweh of hosts from all those that be about thee and ye shall be driven out every man right forth and none shall gather up him that wonder now that's pretty much going into Israel you know with the Lord bringing judgment and the Lord is going to bring judgment to two thirds that refuse to come back to the law, such and commandments of their power, but he's going to also bring judgment to this wicked ass place known as Babylon the Great, aka America, which the heathen going to get caught up in it, you know. You know, again, judgment is not for the righteous, but it's reserved for the wicked. Now, will you know certain men go through trials and tribulations that believe this truth? Of course, you know, we all going to be tried, and that's why it talks about uh, a man being tried like fine gold. You know, a fine goal goes to the furnace of adversity. I was just listening to um, the brother Bakora Muffin. He was going into that. He was saying how, you know, you got to have thick skin for the times it's coming. You know, you may go without eating. You know, you may go without certain things and luxuries. You know, prepare to lose things. That's why maybe the Lord takes away things that you think or believe that you love that you couldn't live without. You know, you know. Hard times is coming. Evil times is coming, you know. Bad times. Where evil, um, Eve meaning times, but um, ill meaning bad. So, yeah, we come in bad times. But the scripture, Habakkuk chapter 2 and verse 4 reads, but um, the just shall live by faith. But we still will have faith and hope. Because at the end of the day, you got to understand the brothers and the truth. We have a mindset. We ready for this shit to, you know, we ready for this shit to collapse. You know, this shit, we, we're not living. We just existing. Because our future and and we waiting for to live in the kingdom you know when you take the time to really think about this system they setting up in place a system where you surveillance everywhere they, i just seen an article they was talking about about 2030 you you be having sex with robots <laughs> you know what i said freaky i forgot the brother uh what's the brother tazapa from uh houston that brother say uh, the freaky cyborg society <laughs> you know what i mean like and this is for the Esau, though. Like, fucking goddamn devil. So if you're a so-called Jake, a so-called black, Hispanic, Native American, Seminole Indian, West Indian, or Haitian, I implore you to come back to the law, statutes, commandments of Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh, Shah, or you will be destroyed. And with that, I want to give all praises, all honor, and all glory to call. Loyum, by Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh, Shah, Bashem, Rachah.
Kwadash Barakatham, that will honor to my apostles and to my elders, the great millstone who do real well. Peace and salutations to the Akim across the four corners of the earth, pushing the truth with faith and with sincerity, as well as risking their lives and their freedom to do so, now more so than ever. Shalom to the Akwa, the Yakim, out there listening and learning. Lord willingly, this is edifying. Shalom to the Israelite foreigners scattered abroad in the land of other nations, appearing like the other nations. Subscribe to this truth to you. I say Shalom. Till next time, I'm able to come with another lesson. Shalom, Shalom. Mawath Lababall. Shalom.